this is what you're doing right now? So you cheat on me? This the type of guy you mess with now? This is what you're doing to me? So this is what you're doing to me? This is what you're doing to me, huh? You betray me. You embarrass me. You made me look stupid in front of the whole damn world. You had a man? This is what you're doing nobody. to me? This is, this is the type of guy you are. I'm a nobody. nobody. You're a nobody. I got your nails done. I got those are my shoes. That's my pants. And this oh, oh, give me my coat back. Give me my coat back. This is the type of person you are. Coat back. Give me my coat back. That's the type of Good thing he found her right where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. The other guy was trying to walk away and wash his hands clean of her. And just look at her face if her telling her man that he's a nobody wasn't a big enough indicator of how little she cares. Have you no sense of shame? She must have forgot, but the streaks never forget. They'll always come back to claim one of their own. This goes for men too, but look at how quickly women change their morals up when there's money involved. These same women 10 years ago said, I, I would never do anything like that. And now they're on OF because of all the money that there is to be made. These beta male simps have let the thought economy thrive for far too long. Men's standards are like a little bit too high. Men's standards are too high. <laughs> Who are caring about like stuff like body count, you know what I mean? Wait, so you think it's wrong for a man to care about body count? If it, it depends on the, co I will say this, it depends on the way you carry yourself, right? It's crazy that a solid 3 out of 10 is worrying about men's standards. Beggars cannot be choosers. Like, it depends on the context of the situation. Like, if I used to run around my old restaurant and throw it out there, you know, I got OnlyFans, these men, I don't give a oh, what. To the streets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was for the streets. Like, no man wanted anything to do with me. In that circumstance, absolutely. Like, you know. I would totally understand why a guy would discriminate against me if it were for my body count. I got perma banned off Tinder. They will not have me back. Okay. Maybe yeah. for the best? Yeah, yeah now Maybe it is. The Check this out. They all got low self-esteem. I usually save this question for a little later on in the show, no, but do you have a sense of how many men you've slept with? Yeah, it's not, it's honestly, it's not like 300 or anything. This is Sparta! Oh. It's, it's like 136, I think. 136? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Which is a lot. You got busted down snow bunnies, white stringy hair, dog smelling bitches. Modern women Thank you, have it backwards. The most meaningful for women to have is with a man you love, not a man that you just met a few days or weeks ago. That's how you get big body counts. It's meaningless. I have a very big body count and I'm very happy. And I'm in what? What's stable romantic arrangements. What's the body count? <laughs> Probably like 300 something. 300 something. This is Sparta! She doesn't belong to the streets. She doesn't belong to the well. She doesn't belong under the well. She belongs in the bottomless pit. I mean, if we want to be generous, we could give the second girl a 4 out of 10. But I'm not in a generous mood, so we're going to lump her in with the other 3 out of 10. And imagine her trying to cope saying, I'm in stable romantic arrangements. What, what does that even mean? They both look so dead inside. That doll in the back looks like it has more life in it. Whoever dug them out, y'all need some help. Everything I am is like technically a submissive traditional woman. I have to get off this planet. Hey, 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 where are you going? Where are all these Whitney Wisconsin's coming from? I'm so disgusted. I'm disgusted with it. I'm so disgusted. I'm so damn disgusted. Let me read you a good message from the apocryphal survival scrolls. Ecclesiasticus 2625, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. So that begs the question, at that point, is it still bestiality? So what should I do? What do you advise? Buy a dog and die alone. So you're 22, high school, what do you do for work? Um, I am an OnlyFans creator and streamer. Okay. Um... And uh, where do you stream? Twitch or Twitch? streamer? Yeah, streamer. What do you stream? To a, I play games. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So you play. No, on, t on Twitch, yeah. No, and body count, since nobody else said it, 56. I think 56. Bodies. Crazy. I think 56. Bodies. Crazy. Fun fact, I missed 56 days of school my senior year of high school. I almost got expelled. Still graduated with an A, though. To go first. Me. Who? Oh Sorry? I want to go first. Oh, sure. Yeah. Please, go ahead. You'll connect with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> How many bodies is too many bodies? Yeah. Whatever you guys are at. Let me tell you something. Me... Um, I guess I was engaged for like three and a half years before I got out here. And I came out here and I'm like, not like, I guess like, 
Why didn't you stay with that guy? Huh? You were engaged in what happened to that? That's the one. How'd you f well, that up? Yeah, he was really good and all, but also um, I wanted to move out to Miami and Florida. And to stuff. be a whore? <laughs> you <laughs> threw away the gates of heaven with your partner to be a whore? Move with my I would jump! No, it's not like that. No! <laughs> no, Zarka! Allegedly! Allegedly! Yeah. It's not to be a whore. I, to be, for starters, I was already doing what I was doing. You good? Well, no, no, no I'm not good. The, the, she why... gave up a three year <laughs> marriage to go to Miami. How, oh, yeah, what's yeah. the f so good about a f palm tree and some f immigrants? What are you talking about? A three year <laughs> marriage Miami. for Miami. She said, well, he didn't yeah, let me go to Miami. You men? No, you no, threw, no, no, she no, threw no, away no, a three year no. marriage. Sorry, you're making her cry. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. We just been through a lot and Let's I don't go. know what else to do. Let's All right, well, I guess. I'm gonna burn it. I'm gonna burn it. Hurts. The truth hurts. All right. Well, look. If y'all you, you want to leave, we're throwing our mics around. No, that's no, fine. Check this out. Let me go. Uh, let me go. Say, say, me first. Say, me first, please. Listen. Listen. I'm glad. I'm glad you cried. I'm the only dude on earth who told you the truth. She's the rest are gonna try and fuck you. This is the truth. I'm trying to say 40 fucking years of your life. You're gonna be 40 years alone. Bro. The f who are you trying to cancel? Because that little f cried. Oh, she cried on the podcast. You're trying to cancel me for that? Listen to me. She can cry all she wants, right? Because she's a literal whore. Another thing, that three-year marriage she ended, you think the man cried? No, men get suicidal when that, when that girl leaves to Miami to be a f She, that's an attack on my f gender and my team. There's a gen there's a suicide happening with men. Let the whore cry. That whore. That whore, let that f cry. Shame is a very powerful motivator. And that's why, as a society, we have to keep shaming these whores and making them feel awful about their poor decision-making skills. She was probably getting a useless degree like gender studies anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Our beta cut comment of the day comes from some Canadian loser. If you find your wife or girlfriend with another man, you should leave them alone. Your partner is not your property. They are allowed to find love at any point in their life, even when they are with you. Many will argue that they have never been cheated on, so their partner has never loved someone else. They are wrong. Being in love and taking action on it are two different things. You are just lucky that your partner is strong enough to control their emotions or value their family more than dating their new crush. The replies absolutely annihilated him, but I think this one was my favorite. <laughs> Hey, he doesn't do it anymore, okay? It was a one-time thing. The only question here is who gets pegged more often, him or Abba? Yeah, I level. You had a prostate or Yeah. You have. Yeah, I'm open-minded. I'm gonna have to say she sucked the plug off more than twice. That's rough, buddy. Man, that's tough when women realize they're finally hitting the wall. You know, it's kind of fitting her last name is Dixon. Because she certainly had a lot of dicks in her. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. Don't let this distract you from the fact that The Hills Have Eyes is a biographical film about their family lineage. Found a pregnancy test in hubby work bag. He claimed it was for a young woman in the office worried she was form her BF. Good England. Kicked hubby out the house. A few days later I met up with an ex and we had great gut excavations. Found out it was all true and hubby won't have me back now. This guy was 100% her backup plan. She wanted to probably marry the ex-boyfriend, but <laughs> that guy didn't want to commit. Shad didn't want to commit. Beta Billy wanted to. Remember, her past is a strong indicator of how her future is going to play out. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. What a shameless whore. And never forget. They got the biggest home of any of us. It's called the street. Go, 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 go,